Hi everyone and welcome to this online interactive play about the Christmas story called A Christmas Throwback. As characters 1, 2, and 3, we have Amy, Michelle, and Joel. Angel Gabriel is played by Nathan, Mary by Elsa, Joseph by Jacob. The shepherds are Zach, Rhea, Pratush, and Nathania. King Herod is played by Samuel. The chief priests and teachers of the law are represented by Daniel. The wise men are Leah, Ethan, and baby Nathan. We're doing things a little bit differently this year, so here we go. We have our characters dressed up here, and we're going to ask you, our viewers, some questions throughout this play. And we would love for you to answer and play along. So to help us out this evening, please unmute your mics at the time the question is asked so you can answer. Alrighty guys, lights, camera, and action! Michelle, do you know the meaning of the Christmas star? Yes, the star was a heavenly sign of promises long ago. God promised a savior to the world and the star was the fulfillment of the promise. Nice job, Michelle. Oh, I got a good question for our viewers. Does anyone know the prophets who foretold Jesus' birth? Jeremiah? Anyone else? Prophet Isaiah? Great guesses, viewers. Some of the prophets it was foretold by was Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Micah. So, okay, so now let us continue the story. Mary, come out, come out, wherever you are. No, wait, it's my turn. I am the angel Gabriel. God sent an angel in to Mary and said, Greetings, you have found favor with God. You are going to serve, you are going to give birth to a son and call him Jesus. Oh yeah, I remember. I was so confused at first because I was pledged to marry to marry Joseph at the time. Right, Joseph? Yeah, that's right. And so when I found that out, I tried to run away from the situation, but the angel told me, do not be afraid, and that Mary will give birth to a son who will be given the name Jesus because he will save people from their sins. Actually, I got a question for our viewers. How many times did Joseph receive messages from the angels in dreams? Three times. Thank you. Yes, Joseph received mess uh, three messages from the angel in dreams. The first was when I found out that Mary was with the child and I was told to stay there. The second was when the angel of God told me to flee to Egypt with baby Jesus and Mary. And the third was when the angel told me to return home. As I, King Augustus, told everyone to go to their own hometown to be counted, I wanted a head count. Right. Something called a census. So Joseph ended up taking me with him, and we went to the town of Bethlehem to be counted. Yeah, there were a lot of people, lots of other people there too. Remember, they hardly had any place for us to stay. There were no rooms for us in the inns. But we stumbled upon a stable, which was a place for animals to stay warm and dry. And there Jesus was born. I wrapped baby Jesus and laid him in a manger. That night I was in the fields watching my flock of sheep because I am a shepherd. Me too! We shepherds were together when the angels came out of nowhere! Oh yeah, that was kind of scary. But then the angel said, do not be afraid. I bring you great joy, good, good news that will be great joy to all people. The Savior, which is Christ the Lord, has been born today in Beth. In Bethlehem, you will find the baby wrapped in wrapped in soft clothes and lying in a manger. Then a whole kind of heavenly host appeared with the angels praising God and saying, "Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to peace to men on whom His favor rests." Let's go to Bethlehem! <sighs> I remember! We left our sheep behind. Do you know 
the price of mutton is these days? Anyway, we found baby Jesus just like the angels told us. We were so amazed, we went home to glorify God. So, oh yeah, what about Jesus was spreading already? And I came here and was not about to let that happen. So, I called together all the chief priests and teachers a lot and asked them where Christ was going to be born. We, teachers of the law, replied to the king in Bethlehem in Judea, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. So, after I heard this, I made a top secret plan. I sent out the wise men to find out exactly where baby Jesus was and told them it was because I also wanted to worship him. So once they were supposed to, once they found him, they were supposed to report right back to me. When we wise men were wiser than that, we were warned by God that King Hello didn't really want to worship baby Jesus. He wanted to harm him. So we went home another way to avoid King Hello. While we were on the way to find Jesus, we followed the star till it took us to where Jesus was. We were filled with joy. We bowed and worshipped him. They all all hail and Jesus. Jesus. All hail Jesus. All hail Jesus. Oh, I have a good question for our viewers. What were the gifts that we wise men presented to Jesus? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Great answers, viewers. We gave him three gifts, gold, myrrh, and frankincense. I was so angry. I was so angry when those wise men... But God had warned me in a dream. God had warned me in a dream to get out of there. So I took Mary and baby Jesus and escaped to Egypt. We stayed there till King Herod died. Then the angel again came to Joseph in a dream and told him it was safe for us to go back home. And we ended up in a town of Nazareth. And so now you've heard it. A Christmas throwback about how God sent his only son to this world to be born as a baby so that later he could save all people from their sins and be the savior of the world. The meaning of the season isn't about everything that's around me right now. The true meaning of Christmas is God's redemptive and sacrificial love for all so that we may have a relationship with God and we may be called the sons and the daughters of the Most High God. We want to thank you, our viewers, for your attention and your participation throughout this play. Merry Christmas and God bless you.